Welcome back for another episode of Test Technique brought to you by DAU. Today, we are going to cover what is a measure of effectiveness anyway. Let's get started. The primary purpose of initial operational test and evaluation is to determine the operational effectiveness and suitability of a system under realistic operational conditions. Operational effectiveness is the measure of the overall ability of a system to accomplish a mission when used by representative personnel in the environment planned or expected for operational employment of the system considering organization, doctrine, tactics, supportability, survivability, vulnerability, and threat. In other words, the evaluation of operational effectiveness is linked to mission accomplishment. To that end, operational effectiveness must be evaluated and reported on the basis of whether a system can be used by soldiers, sailors, airmen, guardians, and marines to accomplish the combat mission. The appropriate environment for that evaluation includes the system under test and all interrelated systems needed to accomplish the end-to-end -end mission for combat. The data used for evaluation are properly called measures of effectiveness because they measure the military effect or mission accomplishment that comes from the use of the system in its expected environment. Program managers work closely with the operational test agency to help determine the assessment of mission capabilities during operational test. This is partially to determine if performance thresholds and critical operational issues have been satisfied. Certain measures used are appropriately referred to in the context of performance, as in key performance parameters or measures of performance. These performance attributes are often what the program manager is required to deliver. But most important to this discussion, they are not the military effect or measure of operational effectiveness required for achieving the primary purpose of operational test and evaluation. Rather, they are in general system particular performance parameters, and as such, they should be referred to as measures of performance, not measures of effectiveness. It is therefore unacceptable in evaluating and reporting operational effectiveness to parse requirements and narrow the definition of mission accomplishment so that MOPs can be confused with MOEs. Basing evaluation solely on performance parameters can obscure the fundamental fact that the system being fielded is not operationally effective when used in combat by a typical military crew or unit. A narrow focus could also lead to erroneously evaluating as operationally ineffective a system that fails to meet certain performance parameters, but nonetheless provides measurable improvement in mission accomplishment. Bottom line, policy precludes measuring operational effectiveness solely on the basis of system particular performance parameters. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to click that like button below and don't forget to subscribe for more great content from DAU. If you would like a follow-up to this video, let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching.